it's Valentine's Day today. I'm working with the university this morning doing a drawing session and then I've got the rest of the day to myself to work on the business. I'm going to make a start to my notepads I think. I did a few tests over the weekend, made a test notepad, tried out some different ideas um, and also did the first iteration of the designs. So I thought I would show you them and talk about my thought process and things. So this is my little test notepad that I made at the weekend, just using that paper that I talked about in my last video, the paper I got for free from the printers. It's really beautiful paper, it's this lovely cream colour, it's very smooth and very thick, it's 120 GSM. So I tried out a few techniques, so I glued the side with PVA, because um, that's how you make notebooks, you glue it. But I also mixed in some acrylic ink, this lovely pop of orange, which I really like. And I thought I would test out painting the other side. So this is just the acrylic ink without the glue, but I don't really like it. It needs another layer, but the pages are sticking together. I think spray paint would have been a better option. So I might test that out as well. And then I also did some tests. Um, I want to do just two designs for this first drop, just to kind of get an understanding of how popular they are or unpopular, who knows. But I've done a weekly spread here. So you have the days of the week all laid out, ready to fill in. And then this section up here, you can put the date, you can put um, the week number, or you could use it to write a priority for the week or a quote, anything really. I've left it blank it's just so that you could use it for your purposes. I'm not a huge fan of stationery that tells you exactly how to use it all the time. Um, I like there to be some sort of freedom. So yeah, I'm not including unnecessary labels, just the absolute minimum, so the boxes and the days of the week for you to fill in. And I've tested out ballpoint and fine liner and it all looks great. No bleeding, um, really great to write on. So that was my little test. And then I've also done a little list pad. Again, I kept this simple. I didn't want to write like to do or lists or anything like that because again, I want it to be open. So you can use it for your to do's or you can use it for your shopping list or ideas that you have, anything really. I wanted to keep it open ended. So there are a few things that I want to change in terms of the design, but overall I'm really, really happy with it. Today is Thursday the 17th of February and it's quite a busy, exciting day. Later on in the evening I'm going to be doing the Be Seen Showcase I spoke to you about a few videos ago, where I'll be showcasing my business and my products in Birmingham with the BCM programme and networking with um, other industry professionals and local businesses in the area. So that's really exciting. I'll try and film a bit of that when I'm there. Um, this morning, I'm mostly going to be packing orders. And when I'm done all that, I'm going to start working on the notepads. Um, I've got all the paper ready. I'm only going to be making a limited amount of 15 notepads just to see what it's like. I don't want to make too many and them not sell. So that's what I'm doing. Also, I don't want to spend ages doing them because I do want to do a restock of some products in the Colour Story collection. Some ones that were popular sold out, such as my Indian Yellow sketchbooks and um, my Slim sketchbooks as well. They've almost sold out.
Hi, it's almost the end of February. So Odd Orange is almost a month old, which is nuts. I can't believe it's almost been a month since I launched. It's gone by so quickly. I thought I would just talk a little bit about how this month has gone, what I've been doing, my plans for the future and all that kind of fun stuff. So if you watched my previous video on the launch, you'd know that it went really well. I had a lot of orders and it was a really, really memorable, exciting experience. I spent most of the month marketing the collection. So I've been planning out all of my Instagram posts. I've been making newsletters, writing blog posts. I wrote a blog post called Five Ways to Fill a Sketchbook and I made a reel to go alongside it for Instagram and that did really well. I started a Pinterest, um, I think it's under oddorange.stationery, I'm pretty sure. Started uploading my photos onto that, I need to get a little bit more on top of that. But that's another thing that I've been doing to try and get some more traction and website visits. I'm also um, uploading my collection onto my Etsy. So I've had an Etsy for a good few years as an illustrator. I'm just in the process of revamping it, making it odd orange and putting my products on there. I'm probably not gonna put the sketchbooks and notebooks just cause I haven't got that many, but I'm definitely gonna be putting greetings cards and art prints and things that sell well on Etsy. So when I've not been focusing on marketing, I've been making notepads, as you'll see from videos I've already shown. That's been really, really fun. I'm making list pads and a weekly planner notepad, and I've almost finished them. I'm just trimming them down now. I need to glue them and then have give them a final trim. So that's really exciting. I'm really excited to put them out, maybe like mid-March, I think that's the plan. Um, and I've also started working on a new collection, which I'm so, so excited about. Literally, I started it today, the planning for it. But I've been, I've had the idea for it um, probably for about like six months now. I have so many ideas for collections. This is on the list. Um, the one that I was most excited about probably after Colour Story. So I'm planning that one out. I can't say too much about it at the moment because I want to keep it a surprise, but like my last collection, it's very colourful, unique colour combinations, illustrative, artsy, high quality. So yeah, it's going to be really, really fun. And now that I sold quite a bit through my launch and this month, I kind of have an idea of what's popular and what isn't what people want so I'm going to be using that knowledge in this new collection to create something that's, um, a bit smaller like I want I don't want to create as many products I want to create a more succinct collection that is more targeted at what people really want from my shop besides marketing and working on the new collections I've been really focusing on my finances my cash flow getting them down I had a meeting with my accountant and have a little plan in place I got some feedback from my customers. I've been looking at statistics on my Google Analytics account and my Shopify account. So I've made some small tweaks to my website as well um, to make it more um, user-friendly. So yeah, that's what I've done this month and we'll see what next month brings. I'm so excited. This whole month has just been such an exciting experience. Like every day I wake up excited. I really enjoyed it and I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, vlog, my first business vlog. I need to get back into the routine of filming everything. I really struggled filming everything this month. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.